A very important property of a numerical method is its order. The accuracy of a method is proportional to a power of the step size, and that power is called the order. If h is the step size and p is the order, then the error made in one step is proportional to h to the p plus 1. And the error made in traversing an entire interval is proportional to h to the p. So this means if you're using a method of order p and you cut the step size in half, you can expect the overall error to be reduced by a factor of 2 to the p. The order of a numerical method is determined by an analysis involving Taylor series during the derivation of the method. But we can also do an experiment to determine the order. Um, and that's what this program does. The input is the name of an ODE solver, and then it's going to do a numerical integration of an ordinary differential equation just involving t. So the result is the value of an integral. The integral from of um, 1 over 1 plus t squared from 0 to 1, we know the exact answer is a half. So we do that, integrate that differential equation twice, once with a step size of 0.1, and then with a step size of a half that, of one half that, we integrate the differential equation, take the final value of y for each of those two integrations, compare those values with the exact answer, take the ratio of those two values, that shows how much the error is decreased when we cut the step size in half. The log base two of that ratio is the order. It should be an integer so we can round it to the nearest integer and return that value as the value of this function. Let's run our experiment first on ODE1. With step size of 0.1, this method gets the integral as 0.5389. Not very accurate. Cut the step size in half, it gets 0.5191. The ratio of those is 2, Logarithm base 2 is 1. So ODE1 has order 1. Now ODE2, step size 0 0.1, 0 0.499, cut it in half, 0 0.4998. The ratio of those uh, is close to 4, and so ODE2 we find it with this experiment is getting order two. Now let's try classical Runga Kata. Uh, this is why it's so popular. It's very accurate. With step size of point 0.1, we get close to a half. Cut the step size in a half, we get even closer. Uh, the ratio of these two is close to 16, and the log base 2 is 4. So ODE4 has experimentally order 4. So we found, that at least with this uh, single experiment, that ODE solvers 1, 2, and 4 have orders 1, 2, and 4. So as you probably realized, this is why we named them ODE 1, 2, and 4. This brings us to the uh, naming conventions in the functions in the MATLAB ODE suite. All of the functions have names that are variations on the theme ODEPQ. That means that uh, the method ODEPQ uses methods of order P and Q. So we've been getting a glimpse of that with our names uh, ODE. 1, 2, and 4. Here's an exercise. 
modify order X to do further experiments involving the order of our ODE solvers. Uh, change it to do other integrals and uh, check out the order of our three uh, of ODE 1, 2, and 4.